All right, my friends, so this is it. Prediction time. You ready? Put your predictions in the notes, would you please? No, I'll share with you mine. It's going to be one of two things. Sniffy Joe is going to win by the skin of his teeth. Skin of his, what, skin, of, skin of his teeth, right? Or Trump will win in a landslide. One of those two things is going to happen, in my opinion. If I was a bet man, I'd put on Sniffy Joe uh, winning. And he'll do so by the skin of his teeth because he wins in Pennsylvania via massive amount of ballot harvesting and voter fraud. That's my prediction. All right, so I would suggest be prepared for a Sniffy Joe presidency because of Pennsylvania. If Trump wins PA, it's over. Sniffy doesn't have a chance. Um, it looks like Trump's got Florida going away, Ohio going away, Iowa going away. It's going to come down to Pennsylvania. It's that simple. And uh, I don't know what to make of Pennsylvania. I've seen the early numbers, and I, frankly, they, I, I don't know. We, we have to wait and see. But if he doesn't win Pennsylvania... Uh, it's, it's, you know, he has to then win Wisconsin and Michigan and maybe Minnesota as well. I think if he were to win Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, he's taking PA. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think what's going to probably happen is Sniffy wins PA and maybe wins Michigan or something like that and has a small electoral win. Uh, I can see that happening. And, uh, and if so, that sucks. And especially if it's done by... Uh, <laughs> shenanigans you know the, the, i could easily see marco rubio's of the world and you know some of the left leftist or not leftist but some of the squishy middle of the road uh democrat uh, republicans telling trump to stand down uh, because this is what always happens to republicans we always lose when it comes to fraud norm coleman richard nixon dino rossi the guy up in maine Freaking the lady, McSally, the list goes on and on. It never happens the other way. It's always one direction, and we always take it. And so the Democrats say, hey, well, if you're going to let us win over Dino Rossi, if you're going to let us win on Nor Coleman, the guy up in Maine, freaking McSally in, in Arizona, we'll take the presidency. And the Republicans say, look, we just got to, let's play nice to get along, to go along, We're like, it's always one direction. We're always the one who plays dice to get along, to go along. The left never does. Now, the question is, if Trump were to lose, what's going to emerge from the, uh, from the rubble? Well, I think it's going to be a fighting unit, a different Republican Party. I think the days of the squishes are pretty much gone. I think Bill Crystal and what these guys say, hey, we're going to re-take uh, over you know, the main, you know, the Colin Powell's, the Crystals, the base of the war machine. They're going to try to reemerge to take over the Republican Party, saying it's because of Trump that the Republican Party lost. <coughs> and actually, I think, I don't think anyone in the base falls for that anymore. I don't think so. And as such, it'll be a freaking fighting unit of Republicans who say, no, you know, we, uh, uh, we're not ceding ground to the war machine on the right anymore. Nope. The globalist, illegal, open borders war machine. We're not going to cede that ground. And as such, it's going to be a, I don't even think it's, I think that'll be a quick and decisive battle for the soul of the GOP. And my side will win because there's way more of us than of them. Pablo. Pablo. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pablo. Oh boy. Hey, how are you? Oh boy. All right, there you go. And I think Sniffy's, obviously, he won't last his full term. You know, Kami Kamala will get in there, and she's just not well-liked by anybody. No one on my side and no one on the left. I mean, look, she didn't... <coughs> Would she come in 15th in the primary? She didn't have any support. <laughs> so from the rubble will emerge a mean fighting machine. That's not going to play as nice as Republicans have done in the past. This will be a wonderful thing to behold, to be honest with you. People are like, no, uh-uh. And then when the left does what the left do, which is always overreach, especially with slim, probably majorities in the Senate, probably slim majorities in the House, and a, and a president who just won by the skin of his teeth with a lot of fraud in there, 
you're gonna have a lot of governors, a lot of state legislatures that are gonna be ready, primed and ready for battle to say, I'm here for 2024 to assume the Trump mantle. It's Trump's Republican Party now, even if he loses. Even if he loses, because Trump, we know, there you go, we're gonna do this, finally, I think. We know what Trump had to go through and we know what was up against him. And so should he lose, we're not gonna be like, ah, oh, Trump's a loser, uh-uh. We're gonna be like, no, Trump's the man. He happened to lose by shenanigans. Come on, buddy, let's go poop already, for heaven's sake, let's get this done so I can get some food. So that's my prediction. I think Biden will probably win, what, 278 electoral votes to two, whatever it is, 62 or something like that for the Trumpster. And I think there'll be some shenanigans in there. I think the Democrats will probably take a slim majority in the, in the Senate, 51 49. Yeah, they'll probably lose 15 seats in the House. I can't remember what their majority is right now. But it'll be slim majorities across the board. If you think you're getting Supreme Court packing, if you think you're getting Green New Deal with that, no way. It ain't happening. And that's kind of what happened with. Uh, with Republicans when George W. Bush won in 2000. It was so, I can't remember if it's 2000 or 2002. It wasn't 2000, I think it was 2000. I don't think he had a majority, I think it's 50 50 in the Senate. And, uh, and they had a slim majority in the House. And they just, you know, but they had a legitimacy because the way the, the president was decided with the Supreme Court. Now, rightly or wrongly, about it being legit, it wasn't. So he had no coattails. He had no political capital. Now he thought he got political capital in 2004, but he didn't. Why? Because he only won, I think he won like 274 to 266 or something like that. One of the closest votes ever. And as even Kerry said, you know, 60,000 votes in Ohio, Ohio Kerry's president. And in hindsight, it's almost sad because you think how many people, I mean, Bush had them beaten in Iraq. He had them. He had them beaten. But how many more men died and women died because of uh, a lack of follow-through from the war machine? They, they just... Bush said, I'm going to spend some of my political capital privatizing Social Security. It just it never happened. It never will happen. And we still went... I just the whole thing was, was almost like... I mean, look, I'm glad Bush won in 2004, don't get me wrong. But, I, you know, I thought that was going to be the election to end all elections. And then we said that every four years. I'm telling you, when Obama won four years after that, you're sitting there thinking, oh, my goodness, it's going to be socialism. Didn't happen. Oh, boy. What are you sniffing on, Sniffy? Oh, boy, here comes a guy. Watch this. Bob is going to go crazy. Oh, boy. Come on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> So anyway, the issue is this, you know, this is an important election. I literally it is. But if Biden wins in a close race, that's what a ferric, ferric what's it called, ferric victory? I'm telling you, it is. And, and I think that's probably going to happen. Trump's either going to win going away or Biden's going to win close. And if Biden wins close, eh, you might want to, <laughs> you might want to be careful what you wish for. Let's just put it that way. But we shall see. We shall see. The Democrats still have the media. They still have all the mainstream behind them of every single education, every single media, every single entertainment, every single music, every single, you name it, uh, corporates. You know, <laughs> but they don't have the people behind them. And don't forget, Trump will still have won more states than freaking Sniffy Joe, for sure. And those states in 2021 and 22 are going to go deep red. And that's just what happens. And when it happens, you're going to have a lot of Republicans pushing conservatism like you had never seen in the states. The states are the uh, petri dish, dish of, uh, of, uh, of different things, like school choice. Like, uh, you name it. I mean, the states are the petri dish of lots of different plans that get ultimately, sometimes they actually make their way to D.C., the federal government. And uh, that's what's going to happen here with a strong conservative base because of what the work Trump did. So that's my predictions. What say you down there, my friends? Put it in there. Sniffy or President Trump? Tell me what you think and why. All right, we'll see you.